everyone, S24 Sammy here for the S24 Sammy Show. Today I'm going to be doing uh, more of the best console commands for Skyrim. Um, if you notice like a quality change in my uh, game, I had Raptor like automatically update it. Um, and I have it set for more like performance than anything. Um, so yeah, there's obviously a change in how the game looks. Um, but anyway... Right now I'm just in the White Run Catacombs or whatever it's called. Um, I guess this is where they bury their dead and there's like skeletons in here. Thought it'd be a good place to do my video. It, it's a kind of neat looking place. Um, just give me a second. Okay. Anyway, today I'm going to be uh, working with actor values and also uh, spawning different characters and creatures. Um, so, pretty much... Uh, if you've watched my first video, you know tilde brings up the console command window, and this is where you can type your commands. Um, first to mod your actor values, um, those are like health, magic, stamina, along with a whole bunch of other things, uh, that's some of the ones I'm going to show you. First if you're modding your own uh, actor values, you want to type player, and that pretty much just targets you instead of another like enemy or character in the game then you put uh, period and you do force AV now um, force um, is a way of permanently setting it you can use uh, I believe set is temporary and mod is uh, permanent but it doesn't force it um, pretty much if you want your uh, changes to stay you want to use force. Um, actually this time I'm just going to use set because I don't want to make them permanent. So I'm going to do set AV and I'm going to do health. And uh, I want my guy to have a lot more health so I'm going to do 750. And I'm also going to do this for stamina. And I'm going to do uh, let's say 20,000. And then magic I'll do the same thing. And for magic, it's M A G I C K A. That's how it's uh, typed in the game. I think it's actually pronounced different too, but I don't really care. Um, but anyway, I want to set that to like 500. Um, a couple more I'm going to show you is uh, a good one is carry weight. Because, you know, you all get mad when uh, you're overcumbent and can't carry stuff. So I'll do 5,000 for that. And. Uh, Here's a fun one, speed multiplier, or speed, M-U-L-T, malt. Um, the default is 100, but I'm going to do, uh, let's say, 160. Now, um, just to show you, my character is obviously walking a little bit faster. Um, I'll set it to a higher number so you can really see the difference. Or actually... I believe it doesn't take... There we go. If you uh, crouch down while walking, it'll uh, kind of apply the changes. I'm sorry if like it seems like objects are glitching in my game with the uh, quality settings. It doesn't always render them like immediately. It kind of actually sucks. I'm probably going to go back and change that. Um, the other ones I wanted to show you that it change changes your health and everything. Uh, magic health and stamina of course 20,000 stamina that's quite a lot um, it's a little bit less than 20,000 I believe that's because I haven't eaten and I have the mod where if you don't eat or drink within a few days you'll start to slowly like lose your abilities um, let's see this is a little too much speed so I'm gonna actually change it down to I'll do uh, I'll do 160 again and then crouch yeah, for some reason you have to like crouch while you're walking to kind of like change it back. Um, one more I'm going to show you, and uh, I've said this in my other videos, but you can use up and down arrows to scroll through what past commands you've used. I'm going to do uh, this time weapon speed malt, and the default is one, so I'm going to set this to five, which means I'll be attacking five times faster. <laughs> See how fast that is? And with like 20,000 stamina, it's like nothing. Um, now I'm going to show you uh, character spawning. 
and I'm only going to show you like a few different characters. There's, I'll probably show more in other videos. I've, I know I've posted videos before where I've just gone crazy and like attacked everyone and spawned a whole bunch of creatures. Um, but first I'm going to eat so I don't like die in the middle of this video. And I just eat some random stuff. Um, but anyway, as I, was, as I was saying, to spawn, um, I believe this works with items too, but I've only really done character, other characters and creatures. You do player dot place at me, and then you type in the ID of whatever object you want to place at you. Um, in this case, I'm going to do a bear, so you do 0023A8A, then you press enter. And as you see, it spawned a bear. And of course, with all the stuff I modded before, it was really easy to kill him. Now, if you want to spawn uh, multiple of an enemy, you do the same thing, but after it, you put the number you want to spawn. So that'll spawn 10 bears. And of course, there's bears everywhere now. speed multiplier. Um, I believe you can go like really fast on this, but certain numbers are just way too fast. 25, you can't even like really see it happening. I don't preferably like it, but it still works to kill them. If I do want to cheat and increase my weapon speed, I usually do like nothing bigger than 10. Oops. dual wielding it doesn't actually increase the speed of my left hand attack so what you do is you go back in and this time you do instead of weapon speed malt I think you do I believe it's left weapon speed malt yeah now when you attack with your left hand or your right hand it's at the increased speed okay um I don't believe that does affect the speed of bows. In a future video, I can show you how to mod uh, the speed of bows. Um, but for right now, I'm going to go back to my other weapon. I like it better. I don't even know which one it was. It was probably the great sword. But. Actually, you know what? I'll do a war axe. I, I, I like the war axes in this game. I didn't mean to dual wheel it, but that works. Um, anyway, I'll show you a couple other characters that you can spawn. And I'm not going to do 10 of them this time because that's just crazy. I'll do, uh, I'll just do one. Uh, the next one is going to be a Death Hound. It is from the, uh, I believe it's from Dawnguard DLC. So if you don't have that installed, then you won't be able to obviously spawn this character, but. This is a death hound. Well, actually, maybe I don't have it installed. I might have forgot to check it in my uh, stuff that was installed. Oh, well. I will show you something else then. Oh, yeah, I was going to show you, like, kind of like uh, if you spawn, like, too many or something, how it kind of lags the game. So. Actually, with my lower graphics settings, this might not lag it. But still, it's just crazy to spawn, you know, like, this many enemies. I have actually, I think, completely crashed the game before by spawning too many, so you just have to be careful with how many you spawn. Um, the last one I am going to show you is how to spawn an actual person. So you do, for this one, it's a uh, Imperial Soldier, I believe. It's 000AA8FC. 
And actually, he'll help you fight off the skeevers. So, I'm gonna spawn a few more and let them battle it out. And I just made a huge war between the Imperial soldiers and a bunch of skeevers. Um, anyway, on to the uh, next thing I was going to show you. I completely forgot I had one more to show you in there. Um, when you go back, I'm not sure if all of the people I spawned, or actually, yeah, they are all still in here. I was going to show you the uh, kill all command. And what it does is it kills all of the um, non essential players that are in the current area. And that's the end of everyone in this room. Anyway, um, last thing I want to show you is how to mod your uh, jump height, which that would be best to go outside for. Okay, so you pr type in player, or this time you type in, uh, yeah, player dot set gs, which means you're setting the game settings. And then you type a space, f jump, fall, height, malt. Now this one specifically, um, it changes how much you get hurt from falling. The default is 0.1. And I'm going to change this to 0 0.01, so that way when you uh, jump really high and then fall, you don't instantly die. Um, and then the next one, you're just going to go, and you're going to do F jump height min, which is pretty much the uh, minimum height that you'll jump. And the default is 76, but I'm going to set it to, uh, let's do 180. And see, so you can jump a little bit higher like this. Um, this combined with the speed multiplier can get you like across the map pretty fast. Um, you can pretty much go like as high as you want with the number. Um, I've never really tried super high numbers before, but I know you can pretty much just scale buildings and mountains like they're nothing almost. Um, I'm actually going to test that out right now. I'm going to see how high of a mountain I can jump over. And actually, when you're jumping really high, um, this probably isn't adequate if you fall from a really high height. So put a couple more zeros in there and you won't get hurt at all from falling. Oh yeah, and there are invisible walls in the game, so some places you can't just jump ah. over. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna set the uh, jump height to 5,000, and let's just see how high it takes us. There might be a ceiling in the game, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to go completely ah. over the mountain by doing this. Nah, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to go all the way up the mountain. Oh, wait. Maybe. It'll be slow, but I'll get over this mountain eventually. I'm actually going to change the... Where did I have it? You can go back pretty far. I'm going to change my run speed again to like 600. I pretty much made it to the other side. I'm just gonna see if I can get to like the peak of this mountain. Yep, there we go, people. We're at the top of the mountain. Um, with the uh, damage mult or the fall damage multiplier set how it is, I'm gonna see if that will be enough to kill me if I fall all the way off. Nope. See, with um, fall damage set that low, it pretty much uh, doesn't hurt you at all if you fall. I just fell off of like the highest mountain in Skyrim and didn't hurt me. 
Um, yeah, so that's pretty much the end of this video. You can stick around if you want to watch me scale a couple more mountains because I'm kind of having fun doing this now that I've actually tried doing it. Um, but if you like this video and want to see more, I'm definitely going to do more uh, console command videos as well as just playing it, other interesting stuff. Um, I play a lot of different games on the computer and even on Xbox a little bit. Um, so just subscribe, give this a like if you liked it, obviously, and just uh, comment if you have anything to like say about this, anything you want to see from my videos. Um, yeah, just leave your input and have a nice day.